Welcome to Knack Tag 910. Coordinate plane. What is a coordinate plane? A coordinate plane is two dimensional plane or a surface formed by two number lines. These two number lines are called axes. The horizontal number line is called the x-axis. The vertical number line is called the y-axis. The point where two axes meet is called the origin. There are four sections created with the intersection of both the axes. These four sections are called coordinates. The coordinate located at the top right section of the plane is the first coordinate. The coordinate located at the top left section of the plane is a second coordinate. The coordinate located at the bottom left section of the plane is a third coordinate. The coordinate located at the bottom right is called the fourth coordinate. But what is the use of this coordinate plane? We can use these coordinate planes to graph points, lines, objects, and many more. Now, let's learn how to graph points on the coordinate plane. Any point is represented in the form of X and Y. What are these X and Y? These X and Y are called the coordinates of the point. The X value tells us how the point moves either right or left along the X axis. The Y value tells us how the point moves either up or down along the Y axis. Before learning to graph points directly, let's first represent the X value and Y values independently on a graph x value equals 4. Always think origin as a home of all the points and start from the origin. Since we need to represent x value, we should move either left or right along the x only. But how can we know if I need to go right or left on the axis? That's a billion dollar question. This side on the orange line shows positive values of x. This part of x axis shows the negative values of x. If I say x value as 4, that means starting from the origin, we need to move 4 units to the right along the x-axis. But what are these units? Each square box represents one unit. One unit on x-axis means one box to the right. One unit on the y-axis means one box to the top. Four square boxes represents four units. This is how we represent the x values on the graph. Now try to represent a y value on the coordinate plane. Yeah, sure. You said y value is negative 5. Because this is y value, we need to move either up or down along the y axis. Here the y value is negative. That means we need to go down. And that's 5 units down starting from the origin. Perfect! That's why I always say, Math is easy and fun when you understand your concepts with a little bit of practice. Loads of fun!